We got ghetto wheels on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Seriously, the, the rims just don't match. Don't get them. Oh shit! Right, we'll I do probably it. shouldn't put that in there. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? It's funny. <laughs> no holding back anymore. On you yelled at me. <laughs> Good morning, Real everyone. Kevin's coming out. Uh, I'm back with Kevin today. He was on vacation in the tropics. I did. I went to St. John's on a healthcare heroes trip and jelly, I'm back. Jelly fresh. jelly because you know my week's been hell for the last two weeks and Kevin was on vacation so that's not cool. But uh, we're back. Ro we rotated our unit. We're back on the one that's further from my house but we're still near the beach which is fantastic. Um, we like to go to Barron's Bagels. I've told you about this in the past so that's where we're heading now. Huge, to get huge bagels. Huge. We're getting our breakfast. Uh, and then we have to go through the truck and check it and make sure we have everything because we have not been on this unit in this truck in eight weeks. So Kevin got his coffee at 7-Eleven just now and then, you know, he made some observations about our truck. Get a wheels. We're, we're going to fix everything um, as soon as we get back to post, but breakfast is priority, so that's what we're going to do. Um, thank you so much for being here. This is Everyday Tidbits. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. And you can follow me on Instagram on everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at Everyday Tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my social media family. And if you want to see more videos with me and this clown over here, guys, guys. subscribe and you'll see more coming show you what i wish i knew my will is strong with a place to lean in the moment i hung that spoon so we got our breakfast from barons and now we're at the beach the water is like glass today and it looks like they're going to be having a volleyball tournament here's the boardwalk this is the tail end of the boardwalk but Red flag, that's not good. The water looks like it's like glass today. A little tiki bar here. It's summertime, guys. Pretty excited. But look at the water. Let's see if I can get closer for you. It is literally like glass. And it's such a beautiful day. It's like 72 degrees. It's a little humid. It's like 90% humidity, but. At least it's not hot. When we got our breakfast, why is this zoom so close? Zooming on your chin. Yeah. <laughs> like my double chin. All right, so when we went to get our breakfast, some really nice lady paid for our breakfast. It was so nice. Uh, that's the second time. Second time yeah. The second time someone had, somebody did that for us. The first time was on Easter, right? Yep. So man paid for our breakfast, but it was so nice that this lady did that for us. But I wound up getting um, turkey bacon and egg whites on a pumpernickel. And my partner got his butt burning jalapeno, jalapeno bagel with jalapeno cream cheese. So I don't know how his butt doesn't burn after he eats there all the spicy stuff. He's like, hala hala. He's like spicy maniac over here. It's nice. But now we're gonna eat. And, uh, I'm a enjoy, spicy kind of guy. Enjoy the view because it's absolutely Good gorgeous morning. out right now. How are you? That is my breakfast view. Check out, well, check that out. I feel like I'm on vacation right here. Any dolphins? I don't see any dolphins yet, but damn, our windshield is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin, tell everybody what you just, where you just got back from. Uh, I just got back from St. John, the uh, United States Virgin Islands. Uh, someone nominated me back when the pandemic was raging in the Northeast about a year and a couple months ago uh, for the JetBlue Healthcare Heroes contest, and I won. That's awesome. Uh, I won two tickets anywhere JetBlue flies, and at the time the tickets were going to expire, so the U.S. Virgin Islands were the only place accepting Americans, pretty much. So I took my beautiful wife on an adventure vacation to Isn't that beautiful awesome? St. John's. That Snorkel is so awesome. Right up the beach every day, gorgeous. Maybe. Jump up roads like that in a jeep every day. Maybe it's you crazy. can share some pictures and we'll insert them into the video. I could. Yeah, could that would be that. great. So yes. we can all uh, relish in your vacation while we stayed here in hell. <laughs> it looked kind of like this, but it was a lot hotter. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm hoping that I get to go on vacation soon. Soon, soon, soon. Maybe next year. But yeah, let's sure. eat our food. Mammoth. Just to give you an idea. Here's my hand. 
and here's that bagel. It's gigantic. I wound up getting egg whites with turkey bacon and a little bit of ketchup. Not 21 day fix compliant by any means. However, I've had a stress going on. So I'm just gonna like cheat a little bit for this breakfast because I only get to go to Barron's every two weeks when I'm with Kevin. True. So Kevin got I'll his his butt burning. Look at how red that thing is. It's like- It's straight a, fire. It's an omen of what's to come. Straight fire. <laughs> it's straight fire. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna eat now and enjoy this view for a little bit. All right, so I started to check the truck and it's gonna take me probably all day to do it because in the middle of checking the truck, we have a job for a syncope of an elderly male at a church. So Kevin's looking up the directions right now on the GPS. It's starting to get hot out. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go check out this job and then finish with the truck check. And I'm really, really full because I ate that entire bagel <laughs> <laughs> like a gavon. And I basically I just, I need a nap now, but that's not gonna happen either. So <laughs> we'll be back in a Always little bit. Need nap. I know, definitely nap time today if we can. I need uh, to rest my fire loins. I'm eating all that fire. I'm glad that, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone. All right, we'll be back. squad members everywhere. Kevin's drinking some water because his tongue is large right now. Um, <laughs> I have a very large tongue. He has a large tongue, which could be a problem or it could be a good thing, depending on how you look at it. Very large tongue. But anyway, um, so we treated our man. We didn't have to do much for him because he was stable when we got to him. So we just started an IV and checked his sugar and took him to the hospital. Then we got hit out for a cardiac issue afterwards at a nursing home and we got all the way on scene. I think someone's doing Chinese fire drill on the street. Um, so we got, they're switching drivers um, at, a, at a traffic light. But we got all the way to that other job for the cardiac and got canceled. And in between, I'm trying to write a chart and consult with a friend about a medical issue for somebody I know and clean the truck. And it's just been a very, very, very hectic, hectic, hectic morning. And um, so we're going back to post right now so that way I can finish my chart, finish the rig check. Kevin wants to take a nap. And um, I need my water bottle too. I left out at post because if I don't drink water, then I'm gonna have a big tongue too soon. Right, Kevin? Big tongue. Big tongue. Huge. Huge. Huge tongue. Huge. Bridge is coming down. There's boat races at the shore today yeah, in Point problem. Pleasant. So if we have time, we're gonna try to go over there and visit the crew and see the boat races. But at the rate we're going right now, who knows if that's gonna happen. We're waiting for the drawbridge to close. It's ahead of us. I, I wish I could get you a good picture, but we're too far away to show you the bridge that comes up in the middle to let the boats go through the channel. But anyway, there's copyrighted music playing in the background. I hope you can't hear it. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna have to put some blurb under there, but um, let me get this things, these things taken care of and then we'll come back in a little bit and have a chat. <laughs> we made it back to post and I started going through the truck again. It's gonna take me all day, literally, because we keep getting jobs. We are en route to a person that fell off their bike that has um, some kind of bleeding disorder and they can't stop bleeding. I'm not really sure what the injuries are, but that's where we're going now. We're gonna hopefully get canceled because I do have a lot of work left to do on this truck. And hopefully this person is not injured too badly because um, like I said, it's gonna take me all day to put this truck back together if I don't have a few minutes to do it. But that's where we're heading now and it's starting to get really humid and hot and gross out. I'm already sticky and the day isn't even halfway over yet. But, um, yeah, so Kevin, do you have any words? I just hope it's not a butt bleeder. Yeah, we don't like butt bleeders. Or a butt breeder either. <laughs> a, a bleeder beater? <laughs> a blood. A, a blood? blood? What? A butt bleeder beater beater? We don't want a butt bleeder and we don't want a, a butt, a butt breather. breather. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get back to you. canceled to that bicyclist with the bleeding issue and at the end of the street where we're responding to is this beautiful view of the bay how gorgeous it's such a beautiful day I'm so blessed to be working in this area of beauty to fool myself I don't need grace which first avenue we're going to now so we got canceled before i told you and now we're in route to a seizure call and it's probably about how long far i'm like probably at least 20 minutes eta from where we're at yeah, um true. so we're heading there now for a seizure call but we this is just such a beautiful area the problem is, is there's so much traffic there's a lot of beach traffic so we're dealing with that <clears throat> so you know after this call what we have anyway you can see him in the background we um treated our seizure lady that was apparently upgraded to a stroke but i don't think it was either who knows um she had a single episode in a restaurant while she was eating and they said she was unconscious for like five seconds and then she was back to normal um so all we did was we checked her sugar we started an iv and that was it pretty much so um she got some zofran because she felt a little nauseous because she vomited um and that's Pretty much it we took her to the hospital and then we went back in service 
I finally got back to the office and finished um, checking the truck, organizing the truck, and now I'm just bringing some restock out of the truck and taking some surplus supplies out of the truck back to the office. I have a list, it's pretty extensive, things are a little messy, um, so that's what I'll be working on now. And then I can finally relax, have my lunch, unless the call gods have other plans because it's now two o'clock in the afternoon and we've been nonstop running ever since we walked in the store. I haven't even gone through the drawers yet in the office to see what's in here. So that's what we're doing now. A miracle just happened. A miracle. We were able to take a nap for like an hour, like an hour and a half. It was it like, felt like forever. It felt great. It was a really long <laughs> nap. Yeah. Um, after getting tossed around all morning, I finally got the truck put together and I need some things. I have a list, but if we don't get them today, the night crew will get them. I did grab some things from one hospital. I did need to get more, but we got a nice, long, satisfying nap. We got to eat our lunch and the tasks are done. They have to be done. So now we are on our way to get coffee and a little snacky poo and the temperature has dropped significantly outside and you know what woke me up is A I was cold and B I snorted myself awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Kevin didn't hear it. He was out yep. cold. Yep. I was I like snorted and because I was on my back in this uncomfortable chair and I woke myself up and I turned around and looked at Kevin and he was like <laughs> himself you know like, so he didn't hear it but uh we're gonna take a ride to get uh, a little snack and some coffee and hopefully the rest of the shift is just like this so this was a treat definitely so we're driving around the neighborhood now we got our coffee and I just wonder what the heck these people do for a living to afford these beautiful gigantic shore homes on the water like look how pretty they are you know you got money when you got a porch curtain. A porch, I need a porch curtain. Porch so curtain. look, I got this coffee from Quick porch Check and it's rainbow cookie flavor. And I, I was so excited about it because rainbow cookies, the Italian ones are like my favorite cookie and it's disgusting. It's gross, but I'm drinking it anyway. I'm not really sure why, because I had a nap. But Kevin- It's also known as unicorn farts. Unicorn farts, yeah. Well, I mean, it's gross, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. But look at this street, how beautiful it is. Look how pretty. Oh, this house is so lovely. I mean, their backyard, you can see the boats back there, is all water. Oh my God, I love that porch. And look at their garden, all the pretty impatience. Absolutely gorgeous. This house is so pretty. Oh my god, these houses are so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh my. I guess we have to hit the lottery or something to live on the water in these giant houses or get a really good job. Definitely being a paramedic is you not good. You have to gonna... maximize your tidbits yeah. every day. <laughs> Everyone loves a maximized tidbit, right? That's correct. But like, definitely not a paramedic salary is gonna buy a house like these in this location, in this town. So we're driving around, this is the end of the street and it's <laughs> so pretty. Look at that house over there. So if you hear kids in the background, there's like a little beach club over here. Um, they're doing live music from three to six and there's a whole bunch of people set up with their beach chairs and the kids are playing on the playground and stuff like that. And it's just a really, really pretty area. But as you can see, we no longer have sun. We have, what was that that just flew by so fast? It just flew by like right in the, right in our uh, windshield. But um, we no longer have sun. It's pretty cloudy and, and muggy still, but at least the temperature dropped like 10 degrees. It's very comfortable out right now. What you doing, Kevin? Looking up the Bayhead Shores Club. He wants to join. You have to own property in the Bayhead Shores. Oh, I'm sure, but it would be nice, right? It would be nice. La la. We just got a job. 
and we're going to a person who's bleeding from their foot. He's on the lawnmower all day. He's on the lawnmower. So Maybe really, he got stuck under the lawnmower I'm really and chopped hoping, up. I'm hoping they didn't chop off their foot. That would not be cool. But it, we got it as uncontrollable bleeding from the foot and they were on the lawnmower. So I'm just hoping that it's just like a little scabby thing <laughs> and not a mangled, chopped off lawnmower foot. Because that would be no bueno, right? No bueno. No bueno. Lawnmower foot. <laughs> We got canceled for the lawnmower foot, and now we're getting fuel for our ambulance. That's correct. What time is it? It's 4:30. So we are uh, we're gonna get fuel, and then uh, I don't know, probably explore some more because we're living vicariously through everybody else that lives in this short town. These big beautiful houses. Um, oh my God! Stop with the radio! I don't want you to hear anything. So I'm trying to find the one that the sign's up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're getting gas. It smells really bad over here. Like, really bad. All of a sudden, Kevin's quiet. Why are you so quiet? I'm enjoying the smells. <laughs> Proto chemicals. It's putting them out. They, took, they tickle my soul. They tickle his soul. That's true. All right. All right. All right. What happens when you get lawnmower foot? It's like tetanus, but it makes you do crazy things with your mouth. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. We went to the local hospital, the other post, to get supplies for our truck that we needed. And then when we left there, we got dispatched for a unresponsive. Uh, apparently, they could see this person through the window, and they were not responding. But they eventually woke up from a deep nap, I guess. Yeah, taking a siesta. Answered the door, and they were totally fine, and they were armed, and they're like, I don't even know why 911 was called, so we were canceled. And then on our way back to post, we got hit out for a femur fracture from a fall, and it was supposed to be a line of sight job from a town that was coming our way, and we were supposed to intercept them to get in the back of their truck and treat the patient. However, we were coming from behind them and they were already ahead of us heading to the trauma center. So we were canceled and another unit from the trauma center was dispatched to come down and meet them that way. But they were too far out, so um, they were canceled as well. Patient was stable, they put them on a hair traction split, which is the right thing to do, and they just continued to the hospital without us. So. Now we're heading back to post so that we can square up things there because it is 5.30 and with luck, our relief, our relief should be here within an hour or so. And then we can um, punch out at like seven o'clock. But you know, it's still early, so we'll see what the rest of the shift has to bring. But we're heading back to our post now. And um, you know, if anything else comes up, we'll let you know. You're awfully quiet. I'm tired now. <laughs> He's tired now. All right. Hello, duck. Where's the duck? Right there. He's in the paw. He's in the. He's in the mud puddle. I see nothing. He's right there. Well, she's right there. Where? That's a female duck. Hey, duck. Duck, duck, duck. I don't see it. What you doing? Playing a game. You know we have a call. <laughs> we have to go, you know. No, Alright, so we have a call for a seizure and our relief would have been here in about 15 minutes. <laughs> we have to go and respond to this call, so hopefully and then we can get back and do shift change and get the heck out of here because it's gonna rain soon the clouds are coming in it looks awfully like a scary sky I don't know if you can see that it looks kind of cool though scary sky but we're responding right Kevin we're, we're responding. responding responding to a seizure a seizure I see you. <laughs> the seizure sees you. The seizure will see us. 
in about, what is this, like a 15 minute ETA? The seizure will seize us in a 15 minute ETA to the seizure. We're entering it into the GPS now. Over, responding, 10 4K. We'll get there. We're going. It's urgent. I'm home in my driveway. I didn't have time at work to close out the shift with you because we treated our seizure patient. Um, she was supposed to go when we got her and uh, we started an IV. I called the doctor. I got a PRN order for Ativan or Versed if needed, if she seized again, but she did not. So I didn't have to give it to her. Um, and we took her to the hospital and it was my chart. So I had a 25 minute overrun cause I had to write it at the end of the shift. And I had an issue with the monitor trying to upload the strip. So I, there was just, chaos at shift change but i'm home now so i'm gonna wrap it up for this evening go in and take a shower get my laundry started because i have a busy busy day again tomorrow um but i just want to thank you again for joining me and i really appreciate your support so if you could hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time i post follow me on instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and facebook at everyday tidbits because i would love for you to part of, be a part of my youtube and instagram and facebook family it's a mouthful every time I say it. Um, anyway, I hope everyone's being safe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.